Racism and cancel culture are so prevalent in our society today that you'd be almost forgiven to if you managed to miss out on a couple of uh, people or places getting canceled these goddamn days, especially for the most mundane of things. Everything is so goddamn racist now, it's pretty much comical at this rate. I mean, for fuck's sakes, the environment is now racist. Are you a black man? Living in a house near a fucking pig farm in North Carolina? Uh, okay, uh, you are? Oh, do you hate the smell? Do you hate the smell that comes out of the fucking pig farm? Well, guess what, buddy? Guess what, buddy? It's not your fault for deciding to move to a fu into a fucking house that's near a goddamn pig farm. No. It's actually the pig farm's fault. Because the pig farm and the turds that come from the pigs are an example of ecological racism. That's right. <laughs> it seems black people can get away with almost everything these days. And no one would seem to care. And if you do speak out about it, oh, you're going to get fucking cancelled. Case in point, late last night, I was told about a, a very evil and very racist restaurant in Georgia by the name of J. Christopher's. Now, what is a J. Christopher's, you may ask? Well, J. Christopher's serves only the racist of foods. Breakfast. And lunch, but no dinners. They are open from s seven days a week, from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Man, I, I can already tell these fucking people are massive fucking racist. I mean, who opens a restaurant from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. and does not offer dinner? Systemic racists. That's who. Late last night, I was told of a shocking, shocking story about how this beautiful, beautiful black queen that's K-W-E-E-N for all of you uh, evil male people out there. I was told how this beautiful, beautiful black queen who was totally not a fucking sea cow at all. I was told the tale about how her and her family kicked out of this J. Christopher's restaurant because the owner really hates them darkies. I don't know if you guys know it, but J. Christopher's, they still practice segregation down there. They still love that Jim Crow. No niggers are allowed at J. Charles. Now, a lot of white supremacists will say that the real reason why this poor, innocent, sweet little black family got kicked out is because the poor, sweet, innocent black family brought along a retarded child to eat some food. And while the black family was eating some food, the retarded child proceeded to throw a tart fit. And the black people, they couldn't calm him down. He tried to sue them. And by sue them, I mean basically scream, if you don't shut the fuck up right now, you're going to get your ass beat. And of course, then, before you know it, that racist manager had the fucking audacity to come on up to this sweet, innocent, black family and ask politely. Okay, they had to ask politely. Now, if they could possibly, you know, Calm the child down, because other people are eating. Now, I was not in Jay Christopher's when this terrible tragedy took place, but I can only imagine that our wonderful black family, when the manager asked them to calm the child down, they stood up, and they chanted Black Lives Matter. And they started chanting, I cannot breathe. Like the good social justice warriors that they are. Then of course, the evil racist manager, he could not hold his racism in any longer. And basically the manager said, you 
Now, if you can't keep that retarded child of yours under control, you're going to have to get the fuck out. It's you are disturbing the other patrons who are just trying to eat their meals in peace. Of course, eventually, they did get caught, kicked out. And then later on that night, our beautiful, beautiful, totally not morbidly obese black woman, black queen, got onto Instagram to tell us all her sad little tale. And it started spreading. Not very far, but it spread nonetheless. You got a bunch of other people who fucking fell for this shit. Uh, you had one woman who was just tagging a bunch of fucking accounts on Twitter in the hopes that someone <laughs> would fucking pick up on this. One of these nice little blue check marks might pick up on it. One person in particular, a man by the name of Waka Flocka. I don't I I don't even know who the fuck Waka Flocka is. You know when you hear the name Waka Flocka kind of sounds like a fucking muppet. Kind of sounds like a character you'd see on Sesame Street. But apparently this uh Mr. Waka Flocka is a, a big name rapper. He's so big name, even I don't know who the fuck he is. But apparently he's big name, because Bernie Sanders, Barack Obama, follow him on Twitter.com. So they tried to get Waka Flocka's hot take on that. They tried to tag in the uh, Georgia NAACP. The Georgia Department of Labor. A bunch of others. And what, a, what a fucking shocker. That, that really didn't go any far. Uh, I know you're probably wondering, what would happen if you were to go on Instagram and you were to confront our little black queen, our little oppressed black woman? Well, if you explained to her that she's a fucking idiot and she should have gotten that fucking retarded kid under control, well, it's obvious you're a racist. You can't control black children. You can't tell black children to calm the fuck down. You're racist. Oh, what's that little whitey? What's that cracker? You want to fucking eat your goddamn meal in peace? You want to sit down with your fucking family and enjoy a nice plate of pancakes in peace? Well, guess what, racist? That ain't fucking happening. Black lab matter. Don't you know? <laughs> oh, you know I've been I've been seeing a lot of these fucking cancel stories, a lot. But it's very rare I get to see one unfold before my very eyes, in real time. And the funny thing about this is, this ain't gonna go nowhere. We ain't, no one's gonna fucking fall for this shit. That fucking Jay Christopher's restaurant. Okay, sure the fucking address for it's been leaked. But no one's gonna do a goddamn thing about it. They don't fucking care. They know what they did and they're fucking proud of it. Oh. Fucking beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I didn't want to talk about this. I had other plans in store. I was gonna talk about, uh... Dan the Feet Man Schneider's show. Why Carly getting renewed? My initial takes on it. Of course, I had a nice little video I was preparing. I was going to talk about Skull Kid in his latest video. It's, uh, it's one hell of a fucking gem. It's autistic, yes, but it's a gem nonetheless. But, priorities are first. So I had to naturally talk about this great uh, cancel culture story. I'll probably get into my thoughts on the new iCarly revival series and... Skull Kids video eventually. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe sometime next week. I don't fucking know. But until then, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.